Gentlemen, 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 what does she think of you? We are about to get the hot ass tea. Let's go ahead and clear the space. We're going to make this too sweet. I'm going to try and get four piles in. We'll see what the energy is like. I'm very excited. This has been a highly requested pick a card. Um, and I don't get a lot of requests. <laughs> so I figured since it was going to be fun, I could dress up in my little thrift store get up. I also want to let you know about my candle. This is the newest one because it is 2.0. So I had a cash app candle that I use kind of like a little bit of a uh just a guinea pig right to give to people and see if it worked and i had those little little guys and i used it myself i made it excuse me with the intention with up to fifty dollars fifty to a hundred dollars but usually it's around fifty bucks right and it wouldn't just necessarily be cash in hand but it would be a rebate or whatever it is anytime you like this little guy and people are like oh my gosh um, right. And so this one has now been made. Um, I do have longer term money manifestation candles that are like really great for like projects. Um, you know, there's all sorts of different ways of abundance and wealth that we can look for. But this is particularly for like, if you want to find something in your palm every day, like a job offer or something like that, this is the candle for you. It no longer has a, because they were like, why would you put a cap on it? But I wanted to see, and the cap worked. Right? So like lottery tickets and all that other stuff, like I don't know how 2.0 is going to work, but there is no cap. I just, <laughs> no cap, baby. But um, I use, you know, it's intention setting. It's letting the energy build. It has the intention of the first cash app of like just daily. It's the practice of it, right? It's just you know, saying your prayers, all the things, spiritual, hygiene, and wellness. So anyways, I'm very, very happy to announce these. They're all up on my uh, website called... The Ko-Fi, I believe I have the, it's just been, I've got a lot going on and I apologize you two, but you're no longer my priority. Well, you are, but just not on this channel. Stay tuned for more. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to put that up and okay, we're going to you. oh, I didn't even give the last people will be mad at me. Don't come for me in the comments. For the last time, I didn't give you a pile selection. I will give you pile selection. Okay, gentlemen, these are calling to me. They do. Okay, we're going to do four piles, apparently. But we are going to keep them short and sweet. Okay, so pile number one will be the amethyst. Okay, pile number one for how do women view you will be the amethyst. Pile number two will be the white quartz. Yes, the white quartz. Okay. Pile number three will be the, I believe this is the lapis lazuli. It's either this or this is lapis lazuli, but we're going to call it that. Okay. And then pile number four, we have the black tourmaline. The black tourmaline. Pardon me. So I feel like I am talking to you. I, I, I don't, well, you know, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say that. Anything can show up and. I do feel that the masculines that do watch me, um, even if you are hate watching me, you still, there's something in me that keeps you, because if you couldn't stand me, you just turn it off, right? Like you just stop watching me like Condoleezza Rice. But there's something about me that you can't stand, so you keep coming back. And you know what? I can't stand you either, but there's some of you, I love men, oh my God. A divine masculine, like, a, like and I'm not talking about like, oh, we like men, I'm talking about like, that good, good daddy energy. I love a good man. Oh my gosh. Speaking of, oh yeah. You don't want me. You don't want me. It's all right. But I'm going to tell you what's tea and what women actually think of you. It's actually what I do for a living. I'm a profiler. And this is the shit I love. Let's do it, gentlemen. All right. So we aren't going to have any tarot. What does that mean for the newbies? Um, Oracle deck. So these are decks. So this particular deck, it only has animals. I'm using my intuition. This other deck only has images with words on it. This other one is uh, inspired by the fairy. Um, the fae. The fairy realm. I know. You're like, I'm a guy. I don't do fairies, but the fairies do you. And I'm telling you, I didn't believe in fairies either because I'm very, very... Well, I'm very balanced in both of my brains, but I'm very logic-minded. I'm like, fairies, you can go suck a, you know what I mean. 
you've got one. <laughs> and this is for masculine energies too. This isn't necessarily for cis born um, men, but is for masculine energies. So if you are, what, what, however you identify and however you carry yourself, right? You could be a woman that lives in your masculine energy, not as a, uh, like in a hetero way, right? And, and this could re resonate with you or just, you know, it's always fun to cross watch too, right? I know the guys watch the other ones, right? And they always want one for themselves. So here you go. Uh, I've got the angels and ancestors. I'm not, it's not necessarily a masculine deck, but it's one of the more masculine decks. Um, I have more masculines in it than probably any other deck. So I do enjoy it. And I thought that was interesting to pop up. And actually the fairy deck by Brown, Brian Froud, uh, the labyrinth. Uh, so yeah, so are we, I'm like, we're all settled in now about five minutes. There we go. And like, there's my little threshold there. Okay. Ooh, saw. I can feel that masculine. I can, Ooh, there's a lot of, um, <clears throat> what we're going to tap into is high vibrational men as we can. Okay. So pile number, <clears throat> ooh, as my third chakra starts getting already, Ooh, as my pits. Okay. And I'm already starting to sweat. So what do women, oh my gosh. It's so funny because this masculine wants to go into what they think of women. And it's like, no, like what do you make women? Whoo, nervous. Uh, except, look at me, I'm like edgy on the edge of their seat. Like, you must be very, um, I, I don't know if it's necessarily, and, and don't take it wrong because you're probably very attractive, but you don't necessarily have to be like conventionally attractive, right? People are like, oh, I've got such a big nose or whatever. People have no idea what's who's attracted to what. Uh, like, and what really, like, turns real women on and not just the collective uh, that watches the great housewives of Atlanta and think, like, somebody's got to be, you know, over six foot tall and a basketball player or something like that. Like, you write and, like, young and all this other stuff. And I'm like, if you will open up your mind. <laughs> so I feel that you are, oh, you know, I am. Okay, let's get a card. But I'm like, you might be un- Okay, you might be on the more exotic side. I'm going to call, call that before I get on. We do have the camel. Okay, now. You know what women like about you? Oh, gosh. I'm like, come on, ladies. We can do better than this. That you, your lack of impatience. Okay, yeah. You attract the... I'm like, you attract the girls. Oh, I'm going to be brutal over here. You guys wanted it. I'm brutal to the ladies. Do you know how many... What, most of my clients happen to be men. And I happen to help them out of divorces. Because women can't take... And when they, they get readings from me, they get super triggered and then they go around saying nasty things about me because they can't stand the fact that I call them out on their shit, right? So I've always gotten along better with men, but also just like when it comes to readings and stuff like that. So don't be coming over here being butthurt because I've already got the ladies already over here, okay? So we have this. So yeah, you definitely, I wonder if this is like something you learned. I've definitely kept, a, I've met a couple of guys that were like, I was such a good guy. And then I started being crappy to women and I finally started getting pull, right? You know, and it's just like, uh. So, but you might, let's go ahead and see. You know, like more of the energy check. I'm like, mm, I mean, I'm going to tell you what they think of you. I'm not going to tell you what I think of you. Uh, with but you're really lamp. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm talking to a guy that has put up this whole ruse because the camel is all about having emotional like capacity to go through the desert, like water. It holds water, actual water in its body. Water in, in the spiritual realm, pardon me, is all about emotion as I like have all my little spiritual burps. You're like, you're just burping because you're, you're, it's true, but it comes up in the weirdest timing, I promise you. So this is a person that like on the outside and this, it, it, it is, it, I, I'm going to tell, I mean, I've, I've read all the books, 48 Laws of Power, The Art of Seduction, The Game, but like, you know what I mean? Neil Strauss, like the pickup artists. I've watched, I, I've read all of your manuscripts that are like under the surface, like in your little secret, whatever, Reddit subgroups. I've been there. So I know this energy and you will attract a certain type of girl and a certain type of feminine energy by minimizing, including me, myself, when I was younger. So yeah, you got it, but you're really like a lamb, but like nobody's gonna, you're never gonna get this person. You're gonna attract a person that's gonna treat you like a lamb if you, you know, continue acting like this. Well, I'm just, I'm, this is from me. But who am I? I don't know, you're still watching, aren't you? Oh my gosh. All over the place, not sensitive. 
always looking for the grass is greener on the other side be here just only once here for the here and now oh my gosh but you're but then we have dear spirit it's like you are wearing this what do women how do women view you they view you as this person that's all over a place doesn't have their stuff together doesn't have any sensitivity towards them we've got the moth here in reverse so you think that the grass is greener and you're not here I mean you're here for a good time and not a long time so if this is you like I feel like if this is the the persona that you've cultivated I think you've done a really good job but then you're just like but I'm just this dear spirit underneath but nobody will give you that because that's not what you give other people right so a little finger wagging here so, how do women view you? Let's get into another deck. Oh, I just got the chills. Hitting a little bit home. Hey, I know it because I was in a very good, I'm very, I operated out of my masculine energy for the majority of my life. So, I understand the energy because it's just an energy. It has nothing to do with the plumbing. Let's see here. Pile number one. How do women view you? Oh, and it goes all the way back to the, we have the temple and we have that, the Kairos, which is like, for me, it's like an animal, but it's an animal here in reverse. Yeah. This is this isolation. I isolate myself. Right. And then this animal in reverse, but you don't like an, like an animal in reverse to me. It's like an animal cornered. It's like every once in a while, I don't know. You might be that guy who just like, I'm not getting the greatest vibes off of you, honestly, to be purpose with you pile number one. I feel like you're the guy who's like really, really like just uh uninterested and plays the uninterested in this that and the other and then you get somebody in bed and then you like try and choke them out <laughs> i do i'm getting like like real like hasn't yeah with the young life i see who you are um yeah i i think you might kind of i think you attract the wrong ones and i think you scare away the good ones and i'm i'm hoping that's right sorry you may not like it but i really am getting that and like those want to fall out Oh my gosh, do I have cards like committing suicide right now that like want to jump out of the pile like, no, don't read me. Okay, give me more on pile number one. Sorry, I'm like, obviously not a fan. I'm not here to man bash. I do this to the women too. So um, here, yeah, with the courage, the singer of courage here in reverse, like right because this is comes from stems from insecurity. So again, I'm not here to bash you, but this comes from an insecure pace because we have the uh, the singer of courage. So um, you you put up this this wall right of unavailability and all this other stuff. Even though you're the lamb, and even though you're the deer, and even though you want people to treat you as such, you feel like you know because it's true. People will they'll come after you for being kind. They see kindness as a weakness. It's the story of my freaking life. I totally understand. Still doesn't mean that you have to be a dick, right? I I I have to be. Um, I understand it, but it's it's certain place in a certain time and knowing who to do it with. It's called discernment, right? And if you can't figure out who and with or whatever, who's the right one or not, and you're probably, honestly, not attracting the right ones at all, so all of them are bad, right? So nobody can really fault you for that. Like, until you raise your vibration, you're not going to, like, attract anybody in that's any better, that's going to treat you any better than the way you're treating them. So, um, and I wanted to advise them to, like, you need some healing, Let's get some healing from the angels and ancestors, okay? Oh, yeah, we've got Lace. Oh, is this Epona's wild daughter? Lace the Moon's daughter. Yeah, this is, you know, again, with, you know, indie. Like, I don't know whether they want to or not or whatever. Like, why don't you just pick something, even if you want to pick yourself? Maybe you go no fat. That's coming up, right? You don't have to be, like, an incel or something like that. But, like, maybe you harness your energy and realize who you are. Maybe you grow a beard and a ball. Like, Oh, I was going to say a set of balls, but I guess maybe just one is needed. Yeah, like maybe you need some testosterone therapy. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Like sometimes this stuff is very hormonal, right? Maybe it has something to do with like maybe you need an antidepressant. Maybe you need to go to, there's a, uh, there's a website called Hims, And it's all about like if you have questions about erectile dysfunction or if you have questions about mental health, it's all direct, like towards men and mental health and tries to like de-escalate and de stigmatize you know getting help and asking the right questions so it doesn't get bad right because you're too embarrassed or never even got the the guidance of like how to deal with some of this stuff so all right i love you pile number one it's gonna be okay now you know let's get on to pile number two where are we at one four 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 take that
Okay, take note. So that took, it was five minutes, about 10 minutes per pile I think we're doing. Okay. Okay, pile number two. You are going to be the white quartz. I think I'm gonna try and get this done in like seven minutes if we can. Okay, try and whip, whip it, whip it good. Oh, pile number two. I love your energy because you know pile number one was so I didn't give you the, the the visual on that pile number two I'm getting like okay so how do women view you let's get into this I was gonna say life of the party but I'm like are you you know I say it gives the women I give it to them in my readings I don't necessarily do it online maybe I should maybe I should just like open the floodgate gates a little more and just turn the comments off fine with people it's just like it's like reading like it's like the energy of it right like I'm not afraid of the comments I mean if, if you live my life the past like I don't know 44 years I think you have about as thick a skin as I do I may not look like it why do you think I wear animal print <laughs> dad joke of the week okay here we go I you see pile number two I'm curious. I'm like, I don't want to call anything because I, we, I, again, it's like, I feel like this person, like, mysterious. Am I getting, like, mysterious from a, okay, pile number two. How do women view you? How does, how do women view my pile number two? Well, at least the sweating has calmed down. That's nice. Pardon me. <laughs> Have I spoken too soon? Let's find out. Oh, we got crack. We got <laughs> Crocodile in reverse, maybe a little bit of a stalker. That's what it, it feels like on the outside. Let's see what's on the inside that fell on the inside here. Oh, we got earthworm. Oh my gosh, am I gonna? I'm like, that's so okay. You know what? There might be a yeah, I mean, curmudgeonly, like people might think when they first meet you that you're like. Lurker, like I'm getting like chest through the molester to like because the crocodile in reverse is a no point of energy. I'm sorry. It might be something that like you're wearing too. It may have nothing to do because like earthworm, like when they meet you, you're like, they're, you're, it's not even like because people could take this as a naive card. This is just like I'm totally open minded. I'm totally open hearted, right? Like I have open like, but the way you present, you look scary and you look like a lurker. So it might be actually something that you're wearing. Oh, I'm getting like. I'm sorry, like a lot of polyester. I'm so sorry. Like brown, over pink. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of unflattering colors and unflattering fits. Okay, if I'm talking to you and you feel like this is hitting home and there's something in here, you can get, if you, especially like around your neighborhood, you've been there a while, like you can get your clothes fitted. Even if you shop at the thrift store or something like that, you can go and get your clothes fitted very for very inexpensively and like it makes such a difference to have like a nip and a tuck and have your pants and and you can even have them keep the stitches in if, if you gain a little weight or whatever you know but just tidying up yourself I feel like there's a physical this there's something in your physical appearance that's making you look a little creepy and a little uncomfortable sorry I'm going to just check something really here quickly here oh okay oh okay and do we need another car? I don't think we do. Okay, so let's go ahead and, okay, so what's a woman? I'm just, we're here, this is advice, right? This is like, I thought this was gonna be more of a gas up read. <laughs> I think I guess it's more of an advice read. <laughs> Everybody's like, you should change that loud. I'm like, yeah, go get your own channel. And then we'll have um, rate, it, rate it reviews. <laughs> Right, roast. You can come roast me. Come on, do it. Go get your channel. Come at me, bruh. I love y'all. Okay, but how do women view you? I just want to make sure these cards. Ooh. Okay. Pile number two. We need to have a talk. It's not even truth because I have the sword here in reverse. Uh, is it the sword or the storm? It wants to be the storm, but it's like here in reverse. 
I feel like your lack of speaking up for yourself makes people really distrustful of you. We also have like the riddle. People like feel like you're not even a riddle. Like you're the easiest. I'm sorry. And you like walk in the room. They're like, I don't even have to think, are they a riddle or are they not? They're like, oh, I'm getting like registering. Oh gosh, this is bad. Like not even like they don't even care. Why don't they care? Okay, there's something here. Like, I'm sorry. I'm going to tap into this. Pile number two. Because you know what? I thought at first, and that's why it, it was this hesitant. It was like this this energy. I was like this clear quartz, whatever, like fun. And then it was like, no, wait, wait, wait. And it's like, wonder, what's under the surface? And pile number two, even though you have this openness, it's like you just come up. People don't want to get to know you. Why don't they? I want to pull tarot out, but I'm not going to. We're going to pull out the fae. I'm getting milk toast. How do women view you? I get the, okay, on the split here, we've got the zero card, like the nothing card, along with the intuition card. It's like, you first of all, I don't think you recognize any opportunities around you, and I don't feel like there are a lot because we got the zero card on the left-hand side of the female side. That's like, nobody's really interested in you. I know, I feel like I'm being really, really crappy right now. Um... But there's a reason why, and we're about to dig into that, okay? So, I, okay. They want, okay, the Fae want to speak. Sorry, I, I usually do this in personal readings, right? Like, I can already feel. Okay. Clarify the riddle, please. Yikes. She the Kurok. Yeah, people run from you. <laughs> With unity here on the bottom. She of the Kurak and Lace of the Shadows, the riddle. Like, yeah, you. I, I'm getting you actually repel women. This is going to seem like a hater type of, and it's not. This is not the, um, okay, we will. Okay, we're going to go why. I'm, I'm going to grab tarot for this because I'm like, why? Because this would be rude to not, and I mean, the cards are coming at I know you can't see them from in the landscape right now, but like I wouldn't. Okay, here. Oh my gosh, yeah, with the sword in reverse, and the oakman. It's honesty, right? The sword, the oakman is all about: Are you being truthful? And then people turning their backs on you because they don't feel like you're being truthful. Sword, sorry. Sword is all about the air, like it's communication, and people think you're a liar, straight up. So we're going to ask why, because it could be, here's another thing. Okay. Here's this book. I'm like, oh my gosh, am I sitting on it right now? You may have to read this book. Okay. Cues because you might be, it, it's like, she goes into this whole thing. All right, here we go. Gentlemen talking to you like a dude. Now I'm not trying to be your daddy or anything like that, but like, I mean, what I love about Vanessa Van Edwards and what she talks about is like, she had this guy who was like, he would get these sales, 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 boom, but he couldn't close them. Why? Because of the way he talked at the end of his sentence. Like he would always like say, boom, and I'm going to close you. It's amazing. People were like, yeah, let's do it. And then he'd be like, so how much do you think it would cost? All of a sudden, all of his change, instead of like well, statements, he would ask a question. And when she Finally, like they did enough research and listened to him after sales call after sales after sales call, which wasn't working, even though he put these clients to the precipice and then all of a sudden his sales went away. It was just the tonage of his voice. So this could be a simple fix. Like I was getting like, it could be like a thick mustache. You might be like trying to cover something up or you could, I don't know. I feel like maybe there's something that you're trying to cover up that's actually really attractive to women. Uh, really like I definitely dated, you know. Uh, people of, I mean, I'm not trying to be cool. I'm just saying like, you know, I just know that some of the things that people find the most like a belly pooch or like a mommy pooch or whatever. And then working in like in the actual, like the actual like ladies, you know, the exotic dancing club, like how much men love tummies, like tummies, like hanging tummies that they just want to like need in the bellies, right? Like it's like all of these things that people are so like, oh, and it's like all somebody wants to do is like sniff your armpit. And I know it sounds weird, but it's very animalistic and it's very, like I, it's just, you learn, you know, what are the things? And then you learn it's because nobody had someone even close to them that like smelled like, a, like 
human because they were raised in a very sterile place or their mother never walked towards them so now they crave feet or they you know like if they have some other whatever it's just I, I just want it's just love and it's I'm here to let you know where you, we are I'm gonna grab a little am I gonna grab okay they say I can do it with the animals why why do people feel like you're you might be just you know, just might be a liar I mean there is that right who isn't You don't speak up. Nobody knows who you are. You get this mouse energy. So people make assumptions and they place their whatever right on you. They place their judgments on you because you are too afraid to show up to let them know exactly who you are. I know this energy very well. So people, and you're just a hard worker, right? So people make these assumptions and their, their assumptions are all over the place about you because you haven't given them. And maybe, you know what, you're just an introvert and you don't care about their opinions. And that's also fine. But, oh my gosh, and then we have horse at the bottom. You might be hung one, like, hung, hung like one. But yeah, I don't think people know. It's like all of this energy, we were, you know, so what do women think of you? And it's like, I'm getting like this passive energy, but yet I get this Clydesdale, honest, rooted, open-minded, just lovely Hard working, attention to detail. You may have Virgo and Earth, like strong Earth signs. Energy. Oh my gosh, Earth all day long. I freaking dig. I at first I was like, you're milk toast and you whatever, but like no, it's like, oh, I'm getting a dark horse, Trojan horse. Oh, I like it that way. Eh? Like maybe you just needed a pep talk. I don't know. All right. Let's see. Let's get to pile number three then. That turned out to be so much better because I was like, I don't want to be here and chastise people. Oh, I'm getting like, sometimes we need to be a little torn down to be built up. Okay. I see you, spirit. Okay. As I keep pitting out, we're just going to shuffle as we go and still continue to drink like a lady. It's the Snoop Dogg. This thing was sh Five dollars at the Costco's. Five dollars. It was two for ten. It's amazing, and it's actually really good. And I've actually been like, yeah, like it's actually great champagne. But I felt like getting a little loosey goosey on yours. I'm also doing a review on it, and check out my other channel if I ever decide to share it with you. This is the suspect lapis lazuli. So there might be something in that, like, because we're not sure if it is or not. Could be a set of twins here. Duplicitous. Or, oh, I don't know, you might be a Gemini. Duplessy? What? I'm getting that. You know who you are. Uh, oh, I know you still watch me. Go F yourself. Pi I know energy. <laughs> Y'all are ridiculous, right? Ridiculous. When you met me, I was at three. I'm about seven now. What does that mean? I know. I know you know. I know you know. Pile number three. I'm like suspect. Pile number three is suspect. <laughs> Who's coming in? Pile number three. What do women, how do women view you? I feel like this is going to be quick. Or <laughs> Erzy and dirty. Erzy? Erzy. Excuse me. There's an easy and a everybody in the house. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Hey, you a ho ho. Sorry. Oh, yeah. We're half the champagne, the champagne in. Here we go. Uh, pile number three. Oh, the golden egg. What do women think of you? Oh, my gosh. Okay, now I'm getting like matrimony he's my husband i'm getting like steak like fork knife oh i'm getting this like this pronged <laughs> oh my goodness you were quite the prize pile number three on the outside oh but you're a lazy bummer <laughs> you don't do crap i've got two my only two cards that are dedicated to work in this deck come out Side by side in reverse, the beaver. And the, so first of all, not really creative. You might rip people, like rip off artist. Uh, Bonanza? What's coming 
up here and getting Dukes a Hazard? Daisy Dukes? Why am I getting all of this? Like, you might just like tool around. <laughs> tool around town, like, like destroying things. Like, I don't know, like I'm getting like Demolisher or like going and like doing like, why am I getting all this like Tonka truck, like sand pile, uh, like lazy boy. <laughs> So funny. Oh my gosh. And people see you as... Oh, it's so funny that I wasn't sure if this stone was this stone or not stone. Are you like a total con artist? How do women view you? They think they're near the golden egg, but when they get to... Oh my gosh. Oh, but they observe. Oh, the real ones do. Yeah. No. I... Okay. This is very specific, but you might get like... A few women that you think you've got on the line that you like a propose to or something and they're like I want a prenup <laughs> I get a women like like smart women like enjoying your you might be extremely good-looking with this egg hatch energy but like I think some like women that know better are like clutching their purses like a black man crossing the street towards them Oh, yeah, you said, oh, I was going to say, I was going to say, you set off, and they said some fences, electric fences. Yeah, now you might have, like, a reputation to you, too. I, I just, straight up. Okay. These are fun. Maybe we like roasting the men. Speaking of men that need to be roasted, who? I mean, I do want to go down and get a, an icy. Pile number three. What do women, how do women view you? Oh, the you do, I get the tear in reverse here. You do not shed a tear over anyone. Oh, we got the mirror. Oh gosh. Okay, yeah, no, definitely. I'm getting like pickup artist vibes because we get the tear, like you don't shed a tear over anyone. You don't give an F about anybody. Like, you are the art of detachment. You might have very strong Aquarius placements, such as myself, like, in my Venus. I'm like, I cut, I cut you off at the whiff of something, right? Like, pink flags? I'm gone, right? Like, I don't want you to stain my laundry. And then we have the mirror here. I think uh, this is a person that also, like, here, the, like, they'll mirror you back. Oh, yeah, and I'm getting, like, look at the mirroring energy here. With this, look at this. Like, even though that's not a, a an orange, like, orb, right? It's like this mirroring. It's like they say things back to you. It might be your first, and then I get the double over here. Yeah, it might be. You might have done your research, too, and know when someone's, like, using the same language as you and saying, I like the same things, too, but they do it in, like, three texts later. But they're, like, mirroring you. and You know what I mean? Like, you may pick up on the pickup artist. And not say anything at all. I feel like all of a sudden I'm talking to the cross watcher. How do women view you? Okay. Oh gosh. Yeah. With the vision here in reverse, we have the tear in reverse. The mirror, they see, they see you. They see through you. They see there's also, there's nothing with you. I'm getting the rake energy off of the, uh, um, the artist seduc seduction. So I'm definitely getting like, also like a little bit of a gigolo or looking for a sugar mama kind of energy. I was like, all of a sudden I want to pick up this. I don't want to pick that tech up. Meekle and Muckle. Yeah, you're very, like, friendly. I feel like you have a lot of women <laughs> friends. Uh, you know, and you might even be, like, for pay or higher. You might be, like, a sugar, like, an actual, what do they call you? I guess you'd still be a sugar baby, right? Or is that just straight gigolo? I don't know. Baby's baby. Daddy's daddy. Mama's mama. Whatever you want, you can have whatever you want. Right? We don't judge on this channel. You do you, boo. Are you hurting anybody or are you hurting yourself? We don't give a fuck. What do you want to think about you? Pile number three. How do women view you? 
out of the fairies, do you? Ooh, oh. Yeah, no, you, you might be like lone wolf energy. We have the collective of pixies here in reverse, so you might have that lone wolf. Like, you're just not interested. I mean, we're already saying you don't shed a tear. Yeah, I'm like, you're not really willing to work with anybody. People see for who you are on the outside. It looks like you got a lot going on. Ecstasis here in reverse. What do you think? Ecstasy. Like, f women don't think, like, they're going to ever going to win with you. You could be, like, the provincial, like, bachelor. Oh, my gosh, with the friends card here in reverse. Yeah, it's like, there's no longevity with you. I'm like, and that's the end of this reading. <laughs> I'm like, I... I I just, uh, well, it feels like you don't put a lot of energy into people. Yeah, with the oak men here, with the sincerity in reverse, I don't feel like you put a lot of energy in other people, and I feel like you don't get it back, and I feel like it's warranted. Okay. Pa yeah, with the topsy-turvy people are, like, in reverse. People are no longer confused, or they're not confused. I don't think anybody's confused. I think everybody sees you as we have that mirror, like, straight up. So, pile number four. I'm like, oh, let's, you know what, let me not be rude. Let me get an angel and ancestor card. Let's get a, a card for advice and healing. What can my pile number three do to maybe change? I should have done this with the other ones. I apologize. It's supposed to be like a healer in here. Sometimes it's like I get irritated with people's. But sometimes you don't know. When you're over here and you might get angry at me. But I'd rather know. Like for me, I'm like, punch me in the face. Tell me what about... The first time, I, I mean, I had, oh my gosh, she told me, she's like 23 years older than me or whatever, and she's like, I thought you were my friend, and if you were my friend, you wouldn't have done this, like, you know, and it's like, I had shirked my duties, like, uh, taking care of her dogs, and they were big, you know, like, it was the whole house, everything like that. At the time, I should have said, maybe I need some help, or maybe I can't do that full time while doing my job and school and everything like that, right? It's like, I promised her something. Excuse me, but it wasn't my, it wasn't her fault that I wasn't able to execute. It was my fault for saying that I could do everything that she needed of me and also tend to everything else that I had. And I just didn't have the capacity to do that, but I didn't want to turn her down and I ended up really hurting my friend. Like, the, and nothing happened to the dogs. They were fine. They were, but they didn't get the care that they, that she gives them when she's there, right? As a retired you know, and so I had, like, I learned a really big lesson, but I was so appreciative that she just told me, right? I had so many people, I think, just, like, turn their back on me because I did something and I didn't even know that I had done something wrong. And I'd been so sheltered and not been around people. So, like, I just didn't know, like, what I was bringing to the table or not bringing to the table or what was appropriate or not. Like, I'd never been socialized, right? And so I was so appreciative that it really hurt, but it hurt that I hurt her, but it taught me such a big lesson because I'd never, like, you know, like, somebody just say, like, hey, you're my friend, and it hurts me, like, my dogs are my family, and I thought they were going to be given this care, and even though I appreciate, like, the care that you get, because I did walks, I did all of the things, but it was, like, the little things, right, that I, that I left by the wayside, and so, um, pile number four, I feel, okay, gosh, I'm getting your, your energy, I feel like you're very thoughtful, um, but I'm getting into pile numbers four, it's like, oh, there, this might be a continuation, pile number Four might be, this might be like my high priest pile, right? Like you might have been a continuation of all these people and like now you're getting into like a divine mask because I'm getting like a divine, we got shaman here in reverse and the be brave and be honest. But they don't want to be read in reverse. Okay, gotcha. Oh, like very insistent. Yes, I like shaman. So these might be two, like you might have like um roots just from like Knights Templar or like something like European roots or something like that. And then you might have native roots as well, just because of the two cards that are coming out in this deck. But one is saying, be brave and be honest. I feel like this is just like this entryway. Like, I feel like this is like pile number four. I feel, okay. I feel for a very few amount of you. I feel these are separate energies, but I feel for a very few of you, this might be an energy of like pile number one was who you were in your twenties or something like that. Pile number three might have been who you were in your 30s or like with a certain relationship. It, it might be a progression. I haven't done an, a, a full reading for masculine energies like this before, but this is how I intuit. Okay. 
So yeah, pile number four, uh, pile number three and four. I do, I do feel like there's something here and we have the dream and journey. Um, or maybe if you are pile number three and you're there at pile three, maybe this is something that you can, but I, I'm already feeling an elevated energy uh, from pile number four. So let's get into pile number four, pile number four, because I'm already starting to get really, really spent and I feel like this is the energy of what needs to be had. So pile number four, these, okay, this is my high priest. Not priestess, I'm not saying priestesses, I'm sure you're watching. Um, but for my, yeah, as I say, high priest on the bottom and we have the buffalo, right? Like my most psychic, uh, intuitive card of the deck here. So yeah, um, high priest in the house uh, here. we I'm like, oh my gosh, I do. I feel like I'm like in a very high rank. I'm like, I'm gonna drink out of my cup instead of the bottle. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm pouring it in the bottle. Just a sign of respect instead of swigging with the with the muggles. All right, here we 